The Uganda People's Defense Forces and Elite Special Forces Command is still struggling to come to terms with the latest assassination claims by one of the country's top generals and a war hero, General David Tinyefunza. In his secret dossier, David Tinyefunza claims that some senior army officers plan to assassinate top government officials who are believed to oppose to an alleged plan to propel President Yuwari Museveni's son, Brigadier Muhozi Kainerugaba, into presidency. The Uganda Army spokesman Lieutenant Colonel Paddy Ankunda has however termed the assassination claims as an indisciplined utterance by the general. We're saying that there should have been other ways, including the use of the various fora that are available to the military, including the high command, which he's a member, in which he would have probably brought up his concerns. So we're saying this is out of order. We cannot wash our linen in public. According to political analysts, the assassination plot shows a growing political power struggle. Many say General Tinyefunza, who is also a presidential advisor and coordinator of Uganda's intelligence agencies, has in the past showed interest in Uganda's top post. The issue of that plot is, is, is in itself defeating because the, the, the plot cannot stand unless their people are going to push it. Secondly, you ask yourself, if they killed the likes of Tinyefusa, what are the benefits? Let's agree the, with, with all their disadvantage in the NRA or what has come to be UPDF. They have never believed in assassination as a method. According to the Ugandan army, General David Tinyefunza will be subjected to military law since he is bound to be faithful and to bear true allegiance to the president of Uganda, who is the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. There comes a time when action has to be taken. We monitored Tinyefunza author several letters. We thought he was making a political point, being a presidential advisor, but I think him being in the military, he, the, the, the politics is not his realm. It has become a habit. It's attempting to divide the, the military. And this is a pillar of the state that keeps it running, that keeps the country stable. We can't take it lying. We will take action. This is, however, not the first time the general is speaking out. In the past, he publicly spoke against what he calls impunity and primitive arrogance among top government officials who manage the affairs of the state, steering controversies among the country's generals. Uganda's chief of defense forces, General Aronda Nyakairima, says General Tinyefunza is not above the law and that he will be dealt with accordingly. According to the Ugandan army, General David Tinyefunza will be arraigned before the high command to substantiate his allegations of assassination. And if found guilty, he will face the full force of the law. Daniel Arab Moy, Press TV, Kampala, Uganda.